Hi everyone, it's me, Mary Dolan, vaudeville legend and all around looker, and you're watching Meals with Mary, the show where we make food for our friends, or for yourself, or for your lovers. And this is Ruby, my co-host. Oh, I like your pearl necklace. Who gave it to you? My dad. Oh, mm-mm, no, you ruined my joke. Don't do that again. Today we're making breakfast, the sexiest meal of the day. <laughs> Birds do it, bees do it, do this with me, even educated fleas do it, let's do it, let's fall Mary, in Mary, love. Mary, Mary, we need clearance for the lyrics, you can't sing that. Cole Porter would let me sing that. Today we're making eggies in a basket, my favorite breakfast, and it's about as easy as Ruby in a sexy kitty costume on Halloween. We're also making wheat germs in a smoothie. It was Ruby's eye. Mary, it's wheat germ. This is Kaz, our producer, who cut me off earlier. Get off the of camera, you're crew. Man, do I miss live performance. You can't edit live. Wakey, wakey, interwebs. Let's make a meal. Smoothies are a great way to start your day with a little bit of fruit and yogurt and small healthy additions like wheatgrass, flaxseed, or bee pollen. Today we're going to be using wheat germ. Sounds like a disease. Maybe we should add some Viagra in there, huh? That'd be more helpful at least. In our blender, we're going to combine one banana, six ounces of Greek yogurt, a quarter cup of fresh blueberries, and just a dash of orange juice. You can always add more if you want a thinner consistency. Hey, Ruby, now I once got a protein smoothie from Bing Crosby. Really? Yeah, but I got a little bit in my hair. We're also going to add a tablespoon of our wheat germ. Give that another quick blend. And you're good to go. A good tip for a breakfast sex fest is anything that you can pour onto your lover, you know? Maple syrup, chocolate syrup, muffin batter. You know, why don't we get to our eggies in a basket? Yay! Yay! Eggies in a basket! All oh, this is my most favorite breakfast of all time. And you might know it by a different name, a uh, toad in a hole, versus eggs, private eyes, Popeyes, but I call it uh, 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 eggs in a basket. Uh, now what I'm gonna do here is just cut a nice hole uh, right in the center. See, now look what you got here, huh? Right? Good. We're gonna butter one side of each of these little things, and now we're also gonna crack an egg into a glass. That'll make it easier for later. Isn't that elegant? Now, you're gonna wanna pop a good amount of butter in that pan and turn the heat down to medium low. So what we're gonna do is put our bread dry side down right in there and let it get really soaked in the butter. Let's go ahead and pour that egg in there. And we're gonna add a little salt and pepper to that as well. Now let that set when you can kind of move it around with a spatula. You know it's ready to flip. Be careful and just flip it over. And now don't forget about that little hat either. Safety first, kids. <laughs> Now the key with this dish is a nice runny yolk, so make sure that you don't get it rock hard, Ruby. You know, why don't you finish this up while I make some coffee? Wonderful, but hurry up, I'm starving. Plus I got Leonard waiting for me at home. Who knows, he could be dead by now. You good? All right, um, uh, action. Making French press coffee is about two things, having the right equipment and the right proportions. I agree. Having well-proportioned equipment's an absolute must. I love using Intelligentsia Coffee based right here in Los Angeles. I use their dark roast and always grind it to order. Ruby's superb at grinding. To keep it as fresh as possible. She's as fresh as possible. Really? Is it going to be like this the whole time? I'll give you a whole time. Hey, Mary, Mary, <laughs> can you tone it down a little, please? <sighs> Now ideally your water is just under boiling. I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of coarse ground coffee along with two cups of our hot water. Give that a stir and let that steep for one minute with the top off. Don't, are you drinking instant coffee? Do they even still make that anymore? What, coffee's coffee. No, coffee is not coffee. Well, coffee is coffee, of course. I was trained in this. I actually know what I'm talking about. You got your cooking tips from, like, Gourmet Magazine, 1922. Well, it looks like you got your acting tips from an underwear model with a winking problem, No, huh? excuse me. Hey, oh, ladies, 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 are we okay? Yes. Okay, all right, keep rolling. After 
letting that steep, put the lid on and let that sit for another four minutes before slowly pushing the plunger all the way in. Holy. Oh my God. And there you have it, our delicious breakfast. We have a wonderful wheat germ smoothie. Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah, get this out of the way. Jeez, will you look at that? Our egg is in a basket. I cannot wait to cut into this. Let me show you what the yolk looks like here. Oh my goodness, how exciting. Jeez, that's just gushing right out of there like so Oh, kind oh of my God, stop. <laughs> Let's eat. Take two. Ah. Mary. Why do you always have to do that so close to me? This coffee is so good. And action. There you have it. Delicious eggies in a basket and coffee strong enough to get your loins moving. Perfect for your lover or your cats. We also have a wheat germ smoothie. Oh, don't worry about that here at home. You know what? Come and eat. Come here, Brad. You come in here, Lily. Oh my goodness. She's been doing our food styling. Doesn't everything look good? And you did the set. This is our production designer, Brett. Look at that. My goodness. Mary, try some of this smoothie. Oh, no, 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 I'm not gonna try any of that. You drink it. Oh. It's really good. No, I'm not having any of that. Oh, my God. Don't make this at home, kids, if you know what's good for you. These eggs will be plenty. What do you think? You digging in over here? What? Well, hey, everybody. I know what you're usually using the internet for, but can you use it for some good for once? Come check me out. We'll be back next week, and we're making dessert. Whoa.